Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to everyone. Uh, today our group will present about organizational behavior and relate the component with uh, employee well-being. So our group member, you can see at the slide, uh, me, myself, Mr. Shawki bin Mahmoud Saudi, Ahmad Najraka bin Ahmad Murad, Muhammad Ezad bin Muhammad Nazri and also Muhammad Baden bin Basir. So without further ado, I will pass uh, the stage to Muhammad Badrin uh, to present about personality. Right. Sure, thank you, Miza. So I will start by explaining to you the personality chapter. Okay, there are one finding about the big five personality. Organizations are screening job candidates for high positionness and other big traits. Depending on the criteria and an organizations find most important. Factors such as job demand, the de degree of required interaction with others, and the organization culture are example of situational variables that moderate their personality job performance relationship. Managers need to evaluate the job, the group, the work group, and the organizations to determine the optimal personality fit. Other traits such as core self-evaluation or narcissism may be relevant in certain situations. So let me let help you to rectify the first two areas that personality enhance workers' job satisfaction and how personality influence the worker work quality. The, the percent job paid generally by Holland suggests that satisfaction is highest and the turnover is lowest when the personality and the occupations are in agreement. There is frequently overlap areas between managers and non-managers. For the most part, managers have the greater leadership in role in organization, have greater decision ma making power, and are held accountability for business mistakes. Non-managers, specialists score highest on the one ability stats, but the lowest on the other. Senior managers have the highest expresses inclusions and control scores, but lowest wanted inclusions and control scores. No managers were found to be most diligent and dutiful. So the next one. One study has been conducted by the Han found that the personality certainly influence job performance through both working hard and working smart work style. Furthermore, three personality traits including consciousness, agreeableness, and openness to experience were empirically shown to influence job performance through work hard. On the, other, on the other side, extravations and cautiousness, emotional stability, and openness to experience were found to influence job performance through working smart. So that's for me, we continue with Izzat. Okay, uh, thank you, Badrin. Now I will continue about my uh, absenteeism, employment turnover, and productivity. First, let's go to uh, absenteeism. We need, uh, in absent absenteeism, we need to avoid neuroticism. What is neuroticism? Neuroticism is the trait disposition to experience negative effects, including anger, anxiety, self-consciousness, irritability, irritability, emotional instability, and depressions. Okay, how? We want to avoid neuroticism in uh, organizations. First, we can have therapy. Okay, the, uh, your therapist can help you address it in a comprehensive way, including thought patterns, relationships, life fa lifestyle factors, and perhaps medications. For example, in a company, in an organization, we can use human resources as a therapy for the employ employment employee okay the next one is exercise exercise promotes the release of several neurotransmitter that improve your mood and next one eat healthy diet and change how you talk to yourself okay okay the next one will be employment turnover i'm going to choose work attitudes why do i choose work attitudes is because work attitudes are often the primary culprit in why people leave when workers are unhappy at work, 
when they are not attached to their companies, they are like they are more likely to leave. So, how we can avoid uh, work attitudes? How we can improve work attitudes? So, the first step is hire the right people. Second, fire people who don't fit. Third, keep compensations and benefits current. Fourth, encourage generosity and gratitude. Okay. Uh, now let's uh, let us move to the next one. May uh, productivity. I'm going to choose good person. Good person organization fit. Okay, what is good person organization fit? A good person organization fit can positively impact one's productivity and performance as well as job personal wellness. One study shows that there is positive correlation between an employee's culture fit within the organization and the employee's longevity at the company. When an individual has higher job satisfaction, they will be more committed and thus more likely to remain with their organizations. So some other benefits of personal organization fit include higher quality of work, increase and increased productivity, more efficient collaboration among team members, improve retentions, fourth, increase levels of engagement, contribution and creativity for employees, and fifth, happy employees make great company ambassadors. Okay, uh, let's move to the next one, which is human performance. In human performance, I will choose proactive personality. What is proactive personality? Proactive personality, people who possesses the proactive personality trait tend to strive for a specific goal. They make things happen and generally good and maneuvering situations towards their desired outcome. What are the characteristics of proactive person? They love to ask questions, suggest ideas, and make, com and make comments on things beyond the scope of their day-to-day -day task. Second, they anticipate potential problems and work to solve underlying issues before the trouble starts. Third, they do not use phrase wait and see. Okay, fourth, they tend to be good at working with other people to get the outcome they, they want. All right. So that's all for me. I'm going to pass back to Badrin. Okay, thank you. So now the last one is the management. Effective leaders naturally want to help, coach, and nurture their employees. This is why top, manager, top managers is hybrid high levels of empathy and awareness of their employees' strength by showing genuine interest in the welfare of the employees. Focusing on the strengths of the workers allow managers to better position their employees to succeed in their roles. This can be done by assigning the task to employees according to their natural strength and interest, ensuring they complete them as well. So that's all. We continue with next chapter. I'm Nazir Haika. We continue with value. So I'm going to start with definition. Robin defines that value as basic conviction that specific mode of conduct or end state of existence is personally or socially preferable to an opposite or converse mode of conduct or end state of existence. Robbins and Judge 2007. So next we move to jobs, professionalism. So why I choose professionalism? Some people in top manager, they choose uh, employee, how they look, uh, speak, dress and behave. It includes always being aware of observing proper ethics and adhering to the rules and policies of the company. It also means always striving to produce high quality works, being detail oriented, enthusiastic and optimistic, responsible and fair. A professional always believes in cooperation and is able, able to get along with others. So we move to work, a strong work ethic. <clears throat> a strong work ethic includes a willingness to work hard and smart efficiently with an emphasis on an dedication to producing high quality works. It is, done, it is doing more than what is expected of you, being accountable and not using company time for personal activities or pursuits or pursuit. It also means being willing to do what it takes to get the job done without complaints and maintaining quality work relationship based on respect. 
So we move to absenteeism, reduce workplace stress. Reduce workplace stress, factors at work that may cause stress for our employees. For example, if a piece of equipment is broken and employees are stressing, we as a manager should aim to fix it as soon as possible. We should also implement programs that encourage employee health and well-being. This also has our employees' physical and mental health at the front, forefront and will prove to our workforce that our value both their work and their health. So next, employment turnover. Encourage generosity and gratitude. Encourage generosity and gratitude. Encourage pro-social behavior in our employees when they are given the opportunity to connect with one another through acts of connection and appreciation. Employee will be healthier, happier, and less likely to fly the goal. And by encourage them to be on the lookout for good behavior to comment. We give people a sense of ownership of the company. So productivity, train and develop employees. Reducing training or cutting it all together might seem like a good way to save company time and money. However, this could backfire. Forcing employees to learn their jobs on the fly can be extremely inefficient. So, instead of having, uh, having workers haphazardly trying to accomplish a task with zero guardians, take the extra day to teach them the necessary skill to do their job. This way, they can set about accomplishing their task on their own and your time won't be wasted down the road answering simple questions or correcting errors. Encourage continued employee, employee development. Helping them expand their skill set will build a much more advanced workforce, which will, which will benefit our company in the long run. There are a number of ways you can support employee development, including individual coaching, workshop, courses, seminar, scheduling or mentoring, or even just increasing their responsibility. Offering this opportunity will give employee additional skills that allow them to improve their efficiency and productivity. We move to human performance, foster a positive work environment. So, employees that feel happy with their work environment also perform better. This shouldn't be a surprise. Think about how different you feel when the space around you is clean and tidy and the people around you are motivating and positive. Encouraging employees the, to personalize and declutter their space can encourage a more conducive environment for being productive. This also means boost, boosting their moral and ensuring positive communication within the team. Make sure, the, make sure the employees have non-work-related activity and event plan and that everyone feels value on their teams. So lastly, management. Keep deadline realistic. Before we give uh, our employees a deadline to meet goals and complete project, we need to realistically determine what milestone will be used to measure progress, what steps are required to meet the goal, how much time should it take, it take to complete the goal, is our timeline challenging but achievable, and lastly, what other project is this person or team handling, and is their overall workload realistic. Again, clear direction about goals and objectives will be vital to the success of the project. Be specific about the milestone that will be used to gauge success. Don't make, don't make your employees struggle to identify what those milestones are. Confusion or lack of firm direction causes frustration, it's waste time and generate unnecessary stress. So that's all for value. Uh, we move to perception. Uh, will be presented by Miza. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Najrul. Uh, today we present about perception. So perception is 
actually how we interpret something and we try to put reason in what we expect something to be. So we can see at the right of the slide, we can see the a guy who said the number is six and the other guy who said the number is nine. So perception is how we think something should be. And the point uh, people behavior is based on their perception of what reality is, not on reality itself. And the second one, the world as it perceived is the world that is behaviorally important. This is that you can go to the second slide. So I will try to relate or using perception on how to enhance employee well-being. So the first one is about job. At the slide, we can see uh, promoting rather than open job vacancy. What I try to mean here is that if we put ourselves in the employee uh, shoes, we know that when our higher ups or senior wants to retire or leave their jobs to go another company or what they have, whatever the reason is, we will hope or our perception is more to uh, have ourselves to promote to their seat rather than the company open the job vacancy because when the company opened the job vacancy, we know that in another words, the company didn't believe in our skill. So like employees are always hoping to get promoted rather than the company hire new workers. So if, so if the company promotes the employee, the employee will be more motivated at work or in their job. So number two, work. Um, at the slide, we can see fairly distributed work. What I mean by fairly distributed is employee usually expected to get the same amount of works that worth their salary and related to the position they stand. So as an example, if uh, we try to add penetrate the market and we have job vacancy about marketing executive, we our perception is to do a marketing job. So fairly distributed work is needed. Okay, so by giving them the right task, they can succeed it more perfect rather than stereotypes or works. So, so the third one is absenteeism. We need to try to reduce the absenteeism using perception. So at the slide, uh, I put is employers live up to the expectation when it comes to give a leave. So employee perception is every company follow the national terms in holiday. National term is like what the organization, uh, the, the national, we have the employees organization or employees council and even employee we have, but then every of the, we know the human resource department or human resource uh, rules where they said that the employees deserve maybe a two days. In that particular, particular deserve holiday, so they need to have so uh, we go to the next slide, number four, which is employment turnover. If you can see at the slide, uh, expectation of continuous increasing in salary per timestamp. Okay. In a nutshell, uh, as simple as it, when we said increasing salary per timestamp, I mean, it's like uh, majority of employees who works for any company have their own expectation to get raise in salary every certain duration or terms. By increasing their salary, the one who makes money as motivation and satisfaction will deliver better works. Okay. Okay. So, right. So we go to number five, which is uh, productivity. <coughs> okay. Necessary equipment are fulfilled. So what is mean by necessary equipment are fulfilled? As a manager, we didn't want our employees low in productivity. So we want to keep the productivity at the highest level. So we need to give them a freedom in telling what they need for productivity. Okay, so I give you an example. For some people who have experience in working at hotel industry or resort, might be working in cafe, being a barista to do some coffee so that uh, the manager need to ask like, so did you have anything uh, more or did you lack of anything to keep uh, the productivity keep better. So if the employee said, oh, I need some better workplace or to have a better layout. So the manager need to um, give what they demand. Okay, so we go to the second last, 
which is human performance. Having a clear vision and objective. So make it simple. What is having clear vision and objective? Is human performance is based on the employee's perception towards the company culture. So that by using a objective, they will know the performance where they should put the performance is 70%, 80%, or over time, they may take over time to compete and complete the task given. Okay, so when you put like, okay, when you put deadline in the KPI, so by using deadline method, the performance can be better and the employees will try their best in catch up with the performance of others employee. Okay, right, so we go to the last one, which is management. In here, uh, I put include employee view and future career advancement. So what I try to uh, explain in employee view is that most of the company which facing facing bankruptcy or having some tough problem they will only meeting or make decision only by their own board without knowing what the employees are facing so employees who are at the field at the field work at the retail store at the any part of the field works they know better the environment and the experience to make something better. And also about future career advancement for some employee, even myself, if one day I devote myself to some company to work with them, I need to know if I have future career advancement or if they uh, will provide my um, future study uh, scholarship or anything. So when the company uh, giving the clear vision of future career advancement, like, okay, if you getting a uh, increase in performance in this time stamp, so you will, um, we will promote you in some uh, level of uh, hierarchy or even, okay, if you work for us to two years, so your master's fee will be covered by us, but then after the master, you need to work with us a minimum four years or something like that. So when the companies have this, this kind of benefits, so the perception from the employee uh, over the top, and also it also can benefit the company itself. Okay, so uh, that's all uh, from us. Uh, about the value, percent and perception. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hope that everything that we present uh, will help you guys, uh, whoever watch this, uh, help you guys to enlighten or have any new knowledge. Thank you very much.